guys, and welcome to the Aero Recap Show here on Collider Video. My name is Ann Campion. I'm so happy you're able to join us for the season four finale, Schism. Now, we're here to talk about <laughs> Schism as well as our thoughts on tonight's episode. But before we get started, allow me to introduce you to our recap regulars, starting with actually Josh McCuga to my left. Oh, man, totally different. And I had the hood. I brought the hood because I've been faking you guys with the hood for the last three weeks. So I brought it for the finale. Uh, bittersweet ending. Bittersweet. Yeah. But yeah. I'm looking forward to talking with you guys one. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and squished in between Michael Medina. No, you said I need a little more elbow room. I'm sad though. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to be here talking about Arrow, but I'm sad because I'm going to miss doing the show week in, week out with you guys. <laughs> and I, I didn't mean to get that on emotional. the very far left, Jason Inman. Uh, if I could, I would do a victory lap because I <laughs> predicted the entire finale four weeks ago and you all call me crazy. <laughs> so... Uh, you're welcome. Coming from the guy who works for uh, DC All Access. I know. I'm pretty sure you saw the script oh, before oh, the fellow that, right uh, next to me. Like no, blows I'm joking. I'm joking. Low blows. Now, no you know, people. we're all squished on the left over here. That's because we're joined by a very special guest tonight. We have Mr. Echo Kellum joining us. Mr. Terrific himself. Yes, you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us in tonight's show, the yeah. finale. We've been together for 23 episodes, you yep. guys. Mm -hmm. We finally made it to Schism. <laughs> schism yes. is a weird schism. name. Schism. <laughs> I'm going to throw that out there. Well, you know, it's like when I saw the, the episode uh, title of it, um, I was like, what does that mean? Like, I know Schism was like an X-Men event, but that, they can't be doing that. <laughs> and then, like, you know, you watch the episode, and then they, the, uh, Felicity brought it up in her dialogue, yes. and you're like, oh, okay. Like... Like I wonder, like when you get your scripts, do you ever get some of the episode titles? And you're like, why did they call it that? Um, well, I don't get scripts. Uh, oh, <laughs> no, um, yeah. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, it's interesting, but they always seem to have a pretty good reason why I feel like they have it titled certain things, like schism, like how she said is like battling between those two different points of himself mm -hmm. and like facing that schism. But I did like the schism. The word does sound weirdly sexual to me. I don't know. Why. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Because we're like a couple like, letters yeah. away from it being very inappropriate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On multiple ends, too. Yes. But, uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, you know, Echo, you mentioned you haven't actually seen tonight's episode. So I'm sorry, but we are going to spoil the crap of, out of that's tonight's okay. episode. If that's I okay. I read the script He's of it. It's okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> do you get, do you get, because I, I know a lot of shows, namely like Game of Thrones, whatever, they don't give the characters full scripts, just your scenes. You're given full scripts for the episodes? Yeah, if, if you're in the episode, yes. Okay. Like, so all the episodes I wasn't in, I did not get scripts for them. So like, I, I'd be like off three episodes and I'd be like, so what happened? <laughs> or, is everything okay? Like, yeah. Yeah. Gonna, you know, but. <laughs> Yeah, when you're in it, they give you the full script. Oh, that's much. great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, mm -hmm. tell me you at least flip through it to see if your character's alive at the end of the script. I mean, I think you check that every time. Yeah. <laughs> you're just like, okay, okay, that line is not Ooh. a death line. Great. Like, okay, I cool. make a season five. All right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I have to say you were a, a big part of tonight's episode. We were really happy to see you in tonight's episode. And just overall for me, I thought it was a good finale. I think we finally see the end to Damien Dark. Finally. Yeah. I just didn't know how they were going to defeat them. Apparently, Jason knew that from episode one. Yeah. So wow. congratulations. Wow. <laughs> you predicted the crap out of this episode as well. Little do we know that between now and when we shoot the next episode, Jason actually writes the whole season <laughs> yeah. Yeah. of Arrow. Uh, Jason Inman Berlanti, apparently. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he's, a, he's an uncle like seven <laughs> times removed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. But you guys, overall impressions? Did you enjoy tonight's episode? I did. I thought they finished uh, strong. I mean, I know you and I probably felt the same way about the fact that this episode kind of coming together. Together. And then, like, I know we were talking about a little before, like, the show started and stuff, just about how, like, this show's kind of, you know, uh, getting a little tighter and just, like, how we're excited about, like, just where they're going, things like that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking that we talked about this, too, how the team is kind of splitting up, kind of going their own separate route, kind of going, like, team, you know, it's OG, called schism. Arrow. It's schism. Called schism. Schism. <laughs> That's yeah. schism. From. The team schism. So I'm excited. <laughs> I, I like this episode, and I like where they can go from here. Yeah, Jason. Uh, I, I will. I have to be honest. At the beginning of this episode, I was a, I was a little worried because I was like, "How is Arrow going to fight all these nuclear bombs?" Like fifteen thousand at one point. They <laughs> yeah. is, is the number. Um, but I think at the end, it, it gelled. It came together really quickly, and we ended a season with a montage, with something that Arrow does very well. When you end Arrow with a montage, I'm in. Yeah. Um, and I and also got to say, uh, I was very scared for your character in the beginning when uh, 
Damien Dark came in and tossed you aside. I yeah. kind of, for a second there, even though you had already been announced for season five, there was a part of me that I was like, maybe they were Flash punking us. <laughs> maybe they were punking us, and maybe he's dead. Yeah, the ultimate. And I'm like, oh, that was a trick. Okay, cool. I would not have known that. <laughs> and you're, you know, in, in the scene where they put you on that table and then the Arrow Cave, which is basically like an amusement park at this point, because uh, everybody can get along as long as you have a ticket. Uh, like they're shooting all them. around you. And I'm like, they're going to yeah. kill Mr. Yeah. Terrific. <laughs> Uh, As he's like sleep. By the way, I, that was one of the moments where I did actually fall asleep on set. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, and like actually legit start snoring, and people were like, <laughs> "David's like, what the? Hey!" And I'm like, oh, <laughs> "What? <laughs> it was kind of comfortable." We're trying man. to do some ninja moves yeah. right here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Is that like the easiest day on set when you just get to lay there and pretend to be it, a dead it body? It really is yeah. a super easy <laughs> no. day. You're just like, okay, so I got two days of laying down. I'll just uh, kind of hang out. <laughs> I'm like going back to my trailer because usually like uh, for me like I'm always in a trailer like studying the next scene you know it's like that so those days I was just like I'm gonna work on some music like you know so, like, then going, I was like oh, okay they catch you you got an, ear, an earbud in one ear and you're watching TV yeah. Like, yeah. 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 so all the while while Curtis is you know knocked out laid out in the cave there's this furious battle that's that ensues and at any moment did you feel like oh shoot I should get up and actually try to help yeah, I mean, I, I think if his ribs weren't so broken and <laughs> hurt, like, I mean, but yeah, I'm sure, like, the character, like, if, because I'm, you know, he says the line of, like, you know, I couldn't move, but, you know, I could kind of sense what was going on around me, so I'm sure that's, like, a very precarious place to be in, you know, of, like, oh, crap, what's going on, and him definitely wanting to help out the team in any way he can, you know, so, I mean, I know I would have wanted to get up and, like, do something if a whole bunch of dudes come down with guns, mm -hmm. yeah. honest, you know. And in this episode too, and a lot of a lot of your moments in this season were uh, catalysts for awesome, you know, yeah. whether it conclusions or results or activities. And especially in this one, you basically got a, a Oliver Queen elected mayor <laughs> with yeah. your with your sage council, I know. if you will. That, I felt very honored to even be able to give him that speech, you know, mm -hmm. to have Curtis and Oliver have that moment where Curtis could you know, uh, levy some of his wisdom and how he felt about Star City and the times where he wanted to turn away, you know, after three terrorist attacks and all stuff like that. <laughs> and then to just really uh, help Oliver, you know, crystallize that message and like give it, give the city hope was, was a very cool uh, moment for me when I read that that character gets to do that. So I was like, oh man, that's awesome. Yeah. That's you know, uh, yeah. Did you know a lot about this character going into it? And then like when you did, you know, start, you know, and join the cast, which I, again, I, I love that you joined the cast. I love your character. Like how much of that was just you or how much did you like go into this character thinking, right, I kind of want to like add this to the character? Yeah, I, I knew of Mr. Terrific. I try to keep abreast on all the black superheroes. If I can, <laughs> you know, like, just, yeah, just celebrate my brothers. Um, <laughs> but, um, the character originally was just, it was just some random character's name. And, um, you know, I just went in there and like, he was talking about space and you know, all these different things <laughs> and had these calculations and whatnot. And <clears throat> then they had me do it two different ways, like kind of like the just nerdy kind of whatever. And then they, you know, were like, put some like, you know, confidence and emphasis into him, you know, and like, let me know that, by the way, this is gonna be a, this terrific and whatnot. So. It's. I think it's gonna be interesting to see his journey to like get to Mr. Terrific and see if he is just you know it's the same kind of character. Or does he go through something that you know kind of uh, takes him to a darker place, maybe a happier place? You know, it's just gonna be a fun journey. And I and feel like I'm like reading yeah. all of his comic books. It's like I definitely you know try to take influence from the original character and you know, try to bring different things to that. But I think that's what's gonna, really going to be fun when he finally becomes him. Like to really I'm waiting on that. those T-spheres. Yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. waiting on like, As soon as you learned he was a triathlete, were you like, I got to get to the gym? Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, I, I did. <laughs> uh, uh, I was like, oh, man, because uh, fans are going to be like, man, I don't know. I don't know, man. That, that guy's too skinny for a gold medal. Man. But I'm like, come on, y'all. Season, season five, they're going to have you get out of the pool, and you're like, God, give me out. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sure Mel felt the same way when the first line of his script said salmon ladder topless, you know, so yeah. he was probably like, yeah. oh crap, I got to go yeah. work yeah. out. Yeah. But <laughs> I mean, it's really nice to have Curtis now fully. In, well, I feel like he's kind of made his way into the team, whereas he's kind of was out on, on the outside looking in at the beginning of the season. You, your character has really been 
the light and the hope that the season was lacking from the other characters, typically Diggle, Felicity, those are the ones that are typically hopeful, but even they lost hope this season, yeah. mm-hmm. which was kind of disheartening for the fans because they are usually the ones to deliver that speech to Oliver. So it's yeah. n- it was nice to have Curtis be that fresh face, that new person to give them all hope. Yeah, I mean, I think it really just goes into that whole thing of character development. You know, if I think if Diggle's always the one to do it, then you, as an audience, you're just like, okay, here's Diggle's speech again. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. you want to see yeah. him go through this, like, thing with his brother and, like, feel his pain and loss and, like, you know, really try to connect to Lila and his daughter. And, you know, I, I love seeing, because Diggle's, like, always been one of my favorite characters on the yeah. show. Mm-hmm. And I just think David Ramsey has so much depth in acting and can, like, do anything, you know. Um, but, as remiss I am, it is nice to just see that character going through, you know, these different arcs and ups and downs and whatnot. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, we, Damien Dark, let's talk about him because we've been battling him all season and his magic. Mm-hmm. Um, he delivers one of the more morbid and dark lines that I've ever heard on Arrow tonight. And Ooh. I don't know if you guys caught it, but he's talking to Nora and he says, um, she asks about their mother, her mother. And he says, we're going to see her soon. You know, just to say we're going to see her in (laughs) our death. Mm. And that was that to me was like, oh, my gosh, like he is ready to die with his daughter. That's going to happen in this schism, you know, like in all of the nuclear uh, threat threats that are going to happen. He sets up this whole thing, this whole world that he wants to be a part of. And it's gone. And now he's like, well, if I can't have it, nobody can, which is like. I mean, come on, man. I mean, maybe like <laughs> give this whole thing a chance or try to escape or something. Come but back. I'm, yeah, but I'm, I'm with you on that. The, the, that whole idea of I'm going to kill my daughter along with everybody else. And I'm so glad that dude got it in the chest, man. I'm so glad. I'm I'm so over Damien Dark being around. <laughs> <laughs> we never thought like I was. We could never beat him, right? Yeah. yeah. The whole time. Yeah. And then finally, Jason Inman's uh, prediction came true. And he got an arrow to the chest, uh, but I loved I loved that it took not only the whole team to, mm-hmm. to get behind him, thanks to Mr. Terrific over here, but also an entire city. Yeah. 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 How did you guys feel about him actually, like killing him? Like, I mean, that was. You know, we've been actually talking about this this entire season, where we've been really wanting Oliver to lean a little bit darker because we kind of talk about how. Um, we liked in season one how he just like you you failed the city and I'm gonna yeah. punch in the face and like that kind of stuff and I and I like that he come to realize that like sometimes some guys just gotta be stabbed in the chest and Damian Dark definitely over the season really proved it. Um, you were talking about the line that Damian Dark had. I thought my favorite Damian oh, Dark no. line this episode was at the very beginning where Oliver crashed through the window and he goes, I know you don't live here, but those are nice windows. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And I want to ask you, because um, Neil McDonough, I, I think he's a great actor and I thought he killed this part, but some of his lines, I was like, <laughs> is he ad-libbing that on set? Because it just seems it was way out there. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if that scene, I was like, really focused on being unconscious mm-hmm. in the corner. So <laughs> Sleeping. Everything. I, was, I, I was going to sleep. Uh, that's the only time I get to catch up to sleep out there. They get ringtone uh, and they get the snoring. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, can you write me in the knocked out scene, please? Yeah, please, 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 please yeah, yeah. Um, but every, it's, it's really great that everyone kind of embodies those characters and sometimes just can play a little like that. I mean, definitely we're true to what the writers write. They're brilliant and they, you know, just know exactly what they're doing. But they do like... I leave a little room sometimes for like a little ad libs and stuff like have you, that. Have, have you had something on, get on the yeah, air? Yeah, like there was something last week that I was like, oh, they put that in there. Oh, oh, it's when I, uh, when uh, Curtis sees Felicity's father and then he tells her like, oh, I'm, a, I'm Noah Cutler or whatever. And he's like, wait, you were with Donna? Oh, and then that was supposed to be it. But then I was like, I knew that had to be like something like, how does Felicity? Would? And it was like, they get <laughs> like, like, that part. And I was like, oh, cool. You nice. know, but just, it's just fun. Um, but you really want to be true to what the writers are saying too. But they do, the actors sometimes, you know, we're just sitting like discussing, like, "Oh man, wait, maybe this feels better if if this was this way or or something mm-hmm, like that." Mm-hmm. And they like are very like open to listen to us and yeah. you know make those changes where we feel comfortable and whatnot. Yeah, and for us watching it, you know, I truly believe that it's it, the the ad libbing comes with the growth of your relationships outside of being on camera on That's screen. True. Like I've seen, you know, at least as a fan, I've seen Amel go grow very close with, you know, uh, uh, I forget Emily. And um, and I forget Diggle's na- real name, David, 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 David Ramsey. But they all they all seem to have that camaraderie that you wouldn't translate on camera if you weren't friends outside of. Yeah, I think it, it, it it's hard to fake chemistry. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, um, and 
that was like one of the most pleasant things for me coming on as this new character uh, was just how tight knit and cool and funny the whole cast was like from the jump like no one ever felt like divas or like they were better than everyone was just very down to earth and like arms wide open and ready to crack jokes before you even think about it and you know it was so they played and they're you, all professionals they played you creed when you walked in yeah, yeah. Um, wide open. <laughs> yeah you know, I, that's i love when you play creed yeah of course. I was, oh. you guys are, you know play, follow take us, me home you know, follow us nickel, nice nickel back yeah. 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 oh yeah Ooh, oh yeah. give me some of that nickel back mm, please yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, what? I don't know. I'm, I can't think of this. Oh, God. I can't think. Never mind. I can't think of the band. I want this thought. I can't think of it. I can't think of it. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Over. Just shout it when you think about it. Um, flashbacks, you guys, because we obviously, they're, those are still very heavily a part of the show. What did you think of tonight's flashbacks with Tang? I want to hear from Michael on this one. Yeah. yeah. As the biggest critic of the flashback yeah. this season. <laughs> yeah. Captain you Flashback know what? over here. If we have Mr. Terrific, we got Captain Hell. Flashback. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know. Uh, it was it wrapped up okay. I'm just not a big fan of the flashbacks this season. I loved I loved seeing Cynthia Di Robinson back. I oh, love yeah. her as a yeah. Waller. That was really cool. I know we had her. We actually had her on the show. What a couple months back. We, something like we that. We had her. I think we had her the, the week after she, yes, she they killed her character. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so we were talking to her and we were saying if there was a possibility that we may see her in flashbacks, mm -hmm. and I'd be fine with that because she's such a great character, such a great actress. So I like that we got that little taste. Um, again, I just. I, it just kind of was what it was, you know. I just wasn't happy, but I am excited to see him maybe go to Russia or maybe see his mm -hmm. his, his homie from Russia coming. I always forget his name. I always forget his name, but I love his character. The guy who drove the sub. I don't yes. remember. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So he was so <laughs> funny. He was awesome. so great. So I want to see more of him. So I I, he, I don't want him to leave the island, but I want to see how that plays into effect. How mm -hmm. that relationship really grows. Yeah. I will say the sh the the shocker was when he cracked her neck. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah and yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean that's some dark stuff because <laughs> no pun intended, but. You know, I thought no he, he might like take an arrow, you know, fittingly and like jam it in mm -hmm. her chest. Did he, did he have a gun? I thought he was gonna like shoot her in the head yeah, or something maybe like shoot that. Shoot her in the head or, yeah. or in the chest or something. But the fact that he cracked her neck was a super dark scene, and then all those people come. But I, I'm with you. I think that season five finally going to get what we've been waiting for since season one how he gets the beard. inducted in, well, the oh. beard and inducted into the Russian mob yes. how yes. he becomes a part of the Russian mob because I love mob stories <laughs> the fact that they're going to introduce this in the arrow is awesome I'm totally yeah, into I'm, it I'm all, yeah. for it. I'm all for it we also see uh, the reveal of him getting his chest back with all yeah. his crap in it the and, the, and the list of names so that mm -hmm. obviously um, from season one we've been wondering where what was in there mm -hmm. and then now he has it in the flashbacks. So I like how the flashbacks continue to give us those little snippets going back to episodes from season one, season two, season three. So I, I liked it. I like that they finally tied up the whole the, the story with Tiana and and the totem now with Amanda Waller and Amanda Waller kind of giving us a clue as to what Oliver is doing in present day when she says killing is sometimes the only path to darkness. So we see that in both the past and the present. Um, so yeah, I was pretty happy with it. Yeah, I thought it wrapped up. Uh, I thought it wrapped up just fine. I will say that I think the flashbacks were the best last week, uh, in last week's episode, and then also when uh, Matt Ryan showed up as Constantine. Like oh, yeah, that right. flashback yeah, was like the best of the season. Um, uh, the flashbacks uh, um, kind of came back. Like we, we we were not a big fan of last week's season's flashbacks, uh, but this uh, kind of came back. I think if season five continues the trend. And like I said, now that we know where these flashbacks are going, like he's got to get this giant beard and he's got to launch an arrow into that fire hole. And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so like I, now that we have like a direction that we have to go, now the mystery is going to be, OK, when he goes to Russia, how quickly does he come back to the island? Like, right. was he on the island only uh, a day before the pilot episode, like a week? Uh, does he grow that giant beard in Siberia? Oh, yeah. You, you can tell yeah. I'm it's concerned cold. about this beard. Like it, yeah. it was down to his waist in that no, pilot. No, no, it's <laughs> no, 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 it's here. No, no. Uh, it's like ZZ Top. Yeah, yeah ZZ Top beard. Uh, no, we've been talking about on this show that in, in instead of flashbacks, in, we'd love to see some more like origin stories. Mm. You know, so maybe some some stories behind Diggle or behind. Uh, you know, Captain Lance yeah. or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Would you do? You, would you like to see something like that going forward? Yeah, or? I remember they had like a, a little origin story of Felicity when she was like 
goth and the have goth boyfriend and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, I would totally be down for some stuff. Like, like would that you want to see like how your character won the triathlon or, or lost it or? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bronze, you in third place, yeah. but that's still a win. That's <laughs> that's a you get a you get a medal. You get a medal. You get to get on the platform. Fourth place is like, oh man. See, because I think it would be an interesting thing that for your character they could do if they decided to do that they could start throwing in a lot of the golden age and justice society references. Yeah. Like they could be your pals. Like, yeah. like you could come across Rex Tyler, yeah. who was just yeah. introduced in Legends, you know? Mm -hmm. Like it's like, oh wow, what interesting paths. There's, that's the interesting thing about introducing like your character into this Arrow world is that your character has just as much legacy, if not more than Arrow. So yeah. like there's so much stuff that you can pull from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that was gonna be a lot of room to like play with those crossover episodes and stuff like that too. And just the worlds in general, like you know, Wentworth Miller just signed just an overall. Yeah, he's gonna be in every show. Deal, yeah. which is yeah. like, that's pretty badass. Like I, I love kind of that synergy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, cause that's, I mean, I love that with, with comic books in general. So like, I'm super excited for like Supergirl to be there now and just see if there really can be like some ties into JSA or you know what what, what can come from that. So it's just very, uh, it's like a wonderful time just to be alive for nerds. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Really embracing that and yeah. just basking in it, you know? Well, it's amazing. I watched every single season of Smallville, good and bad. And it's just kind of cool to see like with the start of Arrow and just how this DC universe on the CW has grown since then. Because yeah. now you talk about how we can have these cross. We have like four different shows and Supergirl coming. This is exciting. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. almost every single day there's something on TV yeah. now, which is That's great. That's pretty dope. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys want to talk about the giant brouhaha in the street? <laughs> between Damien Dark and Oliver <laughs> and then the good people and the bad people and the giant fight and uh, and then hear, hear Echo's thoughts on whether he, what, where, are you mad when you don't get to be in fights like that? Like, you know, are you like, <laughs> I, you're like, I really want to be in that fight. I'm uh, a toy athlete! You know, I, I do want to be in that fight, but I'm also like, those are like the 6, 6 a.m. shoots. So oh. you're like, oh, gosh. <laughs> By like 3 a.m., I'm like, why did I want to be in this fight? <laughs> why do I want to go in the field? Oh. You know, so, where's, my, where's my sleeping so, in the corner day? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's all, you didn't get toe on, you get toe on. Nice. <laughs> but for the character, I'm like, yeah, get in there. You know, but I'm like, I pay as an actor. <laughs> I, I will say in those, those giant battles, scenes like on the street well first of all I will say the one thing the only thing that like kind of upset me about that fight scene was when Oliver gets on the car and just goes like hey <laughs> hey <laughs> you're like dude get a megaphone or something. everybody is literally riding in the right. street and everybody stops like hey what's going on oh, what's that guy saying? Oliver Queen no one said hey yet yeah. <laughs> he's screaming about something a lot of them were like maybe we can loot that jacket yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 but um, I will say in the in that final fight scene and I always bring it back to Braveheart is like there's a maelstrom going all the way around and then the horse guy comes like you bastard and then he goes and you know and he he and Dark have that moment where he like pushes one guy aside and then everything splits. I do always dig that scene in a movie. No movie, TV show, I love that stuff. <laughs> the one part, because I hadn't seen the show yet, uh, yeah. this tonight's episode, but the part I did see they had like an exclusive on ET or something like that was when he fires the arrow and then it like explodes in slow motion and Damien Dark's yeah. face. I was like, that yeah. looks so freaking dope. That was man. really it was well like done. So mm -hmm. cool. Like, well, I, I love the moment actually. There's a moment in the fight where Damien Dark picks up Oliver's bow and shoots an arrow into Oliver. Yeah. Like just bam, like right into him. And at first off, I was like, come on, you gotta have bigger Kevlar than that, man. Come on, you know. Uh, like, but then I was like, "Oh, that's a nice like twist reversal because the entire season Oliver's been shooting arrows at him, and he's just been like, oh, stop." Um, but um, I predicted this a couple episodes ago about that Oliver's going to use the hope of the people mm -hmm. to make Damian Dark mortal, and that's how he's going to take him down. You guys heard that theory a couple weeks ago. You mm -hmm. called me crazy. Now that you saw it executed, whoa, 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 whoa. you I did. Call you me did. Crazy. You called me crazy. I didn't. I, dude, I didn't call you crazy. Go back and look at that episode. If I said crazy, I'll owe you 10 bucks. <laughs> but, but what did you guys think about that's the way we defeated Damian Dark? Well, the you, hope of Star City. You kind of spoiled it for us. No, I'm just showing you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, when you said it, I was like, yeah, that's the only way. I mean, after he had that training um, and she basically told him the only way to defeat it is if you have light in you. I mean, and then you gave your theory. I was like, okay, well, I can't see any other way for them to, to have this battle, but that way. I just can't not think of Peter Pan. Like everyone's just giving like good thoughts. Or Elf. 
when they get the the Santa sleigh back up because they're singing in the mm-hmm. park, and they <laughs> got to give them that special Christmas feel. Or Ghostbusters when everybody has to think. Thank you. Right. Yeah. A lot yeah. of movies do yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. Think yeah. Be positive, everyone. <laughs> Think of yeah. marshmallows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think even in the comics, it's really hard to play with this whole battle, battling with magic, you know? Well, I, it just, well, it's, it's the same like, um, and I, we'll, we'll hear from the man himself. We, we brought up the, the postulation that last week when you guys were like diffusing the missile that it must be really tough. And it's the same for magic. Like, it's tough when you're just like, you know, right. doing that. Like, right? And it must be hard. tough like when you're just hacking at a keyboard. It, what, are, what are your tips? Like, how well, do you, no, how do you I was really like brute force hacking that thing. Oh, I was yeah. really <laughs> getting there. Um, <laughs> no, you know, I used to work for Geek Squad. Mm-hmm. A t- <laughs> yeah. Channel that Geek Squad, yeah. dude. Uh, four years, baby. <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> um, but so, like, I am so used to just being on a computer and just like going from computer to computer to computer, mm-hmm. but. Um, so did you try turning it off and then turning it back on? Yeah, <laughs> that's surprisingly <laughs> how it works a lot so of times. So if we watch last week's episode, we're gonna see a lot of control alt delete. Yeah, a lot yeah, of control yeah, yeah, delete. Yeah. But you, you do think like, okay, I want this to be as accurate mm-hmm. as possible. I just wanna be, <laughs> yeah, we'll get, yeah, okay, yeah, we we'll find it. You know, so I'm like trying to like do actually controls yeah. uh, or actual strokes and you know <laughs> enters and spaces and all that stuff so it's the most difficult part of the job if i'm being honest to <laughs> just get that together sometimes and you're like oh yeah okay uh, i try to i try to lean into what uh watching emily a lot because she's like right. oh like, she nailed she's that. just like oh i'm like are you really doing okay never <laughs> <laughs> well poor cooper who's almost forgotten in this episode his hands uh, are bloody from bloody uh, hands yeah. typing all all night and bloody all day yeah, yeah so hopefully that doesn't happen to you though yeah i hope not i hope <laughs> I hope Oliver isn't working us that hard. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully we get two spheres before then. Yeah, hopefully. That too. Oh, they do all the typing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we're I was ha- so ahead. thankful that they were like pro- like fairly prominent throughout the season. Like they used yeah. it at least yeah. two or three times. So it seems like, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Well, we thought back in, what was that, maybe like episode 13 or 14 when they could have come to thing that, that they were going to use the T-spheres. Yeah, and we also did. thought that like the T-spheres were going to be the thing that was going to detect Ray. That because yeah. oh, we yeah. had a theory on the yeah. show that Ray was like lost inside the office that you guys were working in, and yeah. the T spheres were gonna find him. Oh wow! You know, so like wow. we had a lot of crazy T. You know, here, yeah. here you go, here writers. Here you go. <laughs> um, the other thing, let's uh, like wrap it up with the the flashbacks of where everybody ended up. Yeah. Uh, like I said earlier, I love myself a good Arrow flashback. I remember that positive uh, Arrow flashbacks from season one. I loved every one of them. Um, Diggle goes back to the army. Yeah. Uh, he has an extremely high rank in the enlisted side. I'll just tell you that. Uh, <laughs> um, but I think that's a good move for him. I think it's a, an interesting move. Uh, um, what do you guys think? Like, do you buy where everybody ended up? I do. I know we've been talking about this for a while. Um, it makes sense because I, I kind of would like, to, and I know we probably all agree with this, would like to see Oliver on his own for a little bit. And he's not mm-hmm. technically alone. Mm-hmm. He has ballistic, but really like out in the field doing his own thing. I'd like to see that. I mean, it makes sense for Diggle to kind of go back to the military. Um, it makes sense for Thea to kind of not know where she should be right now. Mm-hmm. You know, because she's kind of been like in the state all season long where she's playing with the... Um, Oh, what's McCall? What was she dealing with? The uh, the, the bloodlust. Blood 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 yeah. yeah. Blood so she was dealing with that. So she's got all mm-hmm. kinds of kind of messed up right now. So to see that, that makes sense for me. I, I like where they're at. I'm not. I'll, I'll go on. I, okay. I thought maybe how this should have wrapped. I didn't like that Diggle goes back in the military. I thought that he and the misses and the what are you against the military? Josh? No, I love the military. The military. You, you know what I'm saying. I want him to go. <laughs> I want him to go. I wanted them to be like on some sort of like cruise or like a, a like a vacation finally as a family or like disappearing to somewhere else okay. as a family getting away from this whole thing so that they could actually live as a family together now i know that diggle is having this whole mental breakdown because he killed his brother and maybe he, he needs some time for him and that time is the service great uh then then that makes sense but there's something about me that wants diggle to be a family man for a little bit because the wife and kid have really not had their dad around i thought thea should have been her thing was she's at uh, Roy's doorstep. I mean, oh, she finds yeah. Roy. I've been down with that. You know. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I love the fact that it's that it's Felicity and Oliver back together. Uh, I like, maybe. maybe, maybe we don't know. Mm. Yeah. We don't know. Captain Lance and Mama Smoke together in a car, yep. arguing Dance. about directions. I yep. love it. <laughs> Dance. I would. I honestly would have loved to see you walk into the Arrow Cave. At, as they're yeah. as they're at the end there, and, yeah. and you're like, because you're the only one that hasn't been destroyed by Team Arrow. Yeah, like everybody <laughs> else been like lost a friend, lost a Just brother. Just wait till next yeah. season. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, give it time, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Still I mean, I, I'm obviously up and down, but I think they're they could have done it a little bit better. That's all. I think yeah. I'm surprised by Felicity. I thought she would actually also be Me too. checked out. 
um, considering obviously in the beginning her and Oliver were together, then their engagement is now not to be, um, and just Laurel's death. I thought all of that she would affect thousands her. Of people. Yeah, and that. she killed yeah. people. <laughs> was she it, wasn't it wasn't walking. Monument Point. It was uh, oh god, the, t the town that Felicity destroyed. Haven, We're just gonna Haven call Rock. it Haven, 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 yeah. Rock. Haven Rock. Haven Rock. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But I mean, a lot of stuff happened to Felicity, so I, I really truly expected that she wasn't going to stick around. So when she did say she was going to stick around, I was a little bit surprised. But the person I'm the most happiest with in terms of their place and where we're going to see him next season is Oliver Queen. We He's obviously set up to be the next mayor, and I think we've all been waiting for that to happen, so that's very, very exciting for me. Mayro, that's Mayor Arrow. Mayro, uh, Mayro, that's clever. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> all right, so then let's move into our Twitter questions. The first one comes from Doug, who asks, what kind of costume would Echo like to see for Curtis in the future? Um, I, I just really love the cool fair play jacket. You know, the one um, that has it horizontal, yeah. on the sleeve, or mm -hmm. vertically on the sleeve, mm -hmm. horizontal. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, you can barely see it. Yeah. 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 So you wore a tracksuit this yeah, season. Yeah, I did yeah. wear a playoff. Yeah. Play yeah. 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 We all freaked out. Uh, we saw that. Yeah. 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 Um, so, I mean, something like that. I love the like kind of outer white layer and like, Red and black, that's kind of cool. And as long as it's like, the, I, I want the tea. You want, I the, want tea the tea on the face? I think that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. But as an actor, I'm probably gonna be like, why do I ask for this tea? <laughs> so face. makeup, so much makeup. God, <laughs> I gotta come an hour early. You can't sleep with this on. <laughs> <laughs> I keep rubbing my eyes and messing up God, my face. They have to remake it all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'd prefer the tea over what. David has to wait, <laughs> to be honest with you. Star Labs is working on that. It's work in progress. <laughs> work in progress. <laughs> All right, next question. Comes from Lemon Grab Ren, who asks, what was your favorite episode slash moment of the season? For me, it was getting to see Roy come back. Love him. Hmm. I think everybody can answer this one. You want to start? Yeah, you want to start with Echo? Yeah. Would well, you have a favorite moment from your first season in Arrow? Favorite moment? I mean, my favorite moment's actually the first, my first episode of actually coming in and working with Emily. And like, just when I heard the music that they usually play with like the guys first appear, and it was like, that's me. That was like just <laughs> a, such a cool, like euphoric, like, is this real type of moment? So I like always like cherish that. And it was like uh, a moment where I got to work with um, Fanta, uh, Emily's best friend, and like, close friend of mine now so it's just like this really like kind of setting the path of you know all everything that's like occurred in the past year and that will be occurring next year so it was like kind of nostalgic like oh first you know scene and stuff nice pretty awesome yeah. nice yeah. um i would say for me it was the favorite moment but also the saddest moment is laurel's death i think that was mm. really impactful for the season um having been on Arrow forever um, and having to see her witness her die. I think for me that scene was even more impactful because I felt like the actors off screen also felt, you know, really heartbroken with that, having to act in that scene, having to say goodbye to Katie Cassidy. So for me, that was it. Yeah, I mean, I, this is probably the obvious one, but I, Oliver finally putting that arrow into Damien Dark, man. I, I waited all season for that. I've been asking Oliver to start killing more people. I know that's dark, but I want to go back to Oliver season one where he's just like, everybody's dead. And I'm like, yes, that's what I want. But the fact that he finally got him, he's like, I didn't have a choice this time. Boom, arrow in the chest. Oliver kills again. Uh, just an awesome moment for the show. And what we wanted as fans, we got it. Uh, my favorite scene would be the first time I saw Constantine. You know, I know you said mm -hmm. that's your favorite. Mm -hmm. I agree, that was my favorite flashback of the season. I was a fan of the show. I thought it really didn't get its due. I mean, it only went about 12 episodes, maybe something like that. It was a good show. And so seeing him on the show and seeing how well, like the chemistry between him and Stephen Amell, just, it really worked. It, I really believe really, and I loved it, and I hope we see more of him. Absolutely. Constantine is definitely one of the tops. And since you talked about Constantine, I'll talk about uh, Vixen. Oh, man. I, oh, thought, yeah. say, I thought Vixen she's coming amazing. in, she was yeah. awesome. She was mm -hmm. Like, give her her own show. She's More fantastic. Yeah. Um, the fact that they took that obscure DC character and the uh, uh, the actress made it work. Mm -hmm. The script made it work. It, she was just awesome. And then my and second, she was so important. And yeah. she was important to the plot. Like, yeah. bring her back as quick as possible. And uh, my second uh, favorite moment was when uh, a couple of episodes ago, when Captain Lance was stuck in the arrow cave because they all left him alone. He's like, I guess I'll just make the coffee. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He does his lines pretty well. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> awesome. Next question. Comes from Doug again, who asks, oh, 
This is the same question. No, it is not. <laughs> well, I would answer it differently this time. Um, I, <laughs> is that it for questions? Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. I wanted more. I'm sorry. Well, thank you to everyone who has tweeted us using the hashtag Collider AR. Obviously, season four is over, but we will continue to take your tweets using that hashtag. So um, with the end of season four, going into season five, predictions for season five. I don't know if we should start with don't Jason. Don't start with me. Okay. No, 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 no. Echo, do you want to start? <laughs> predictions. Yes. Oh, God. Or what, uh, would you, what would you like to see yeah. for Curtis in season five? Oh, man. You know, I I do want to see him suit up. That mm -hmm. would be pretty cool for me, you know. So I predict he will suit up. <laughs> but I have no clue. So <laughs> that's just a prediction. We back you on that one. Um, <laughs> for me, I think it wouldn't have been a finale if the lair didn't get destroyed. So I honestly think season five should open with uh, the return of Rosa cleaning the lair <laughs> and making sure that everything is More back in its touch. place, <laughs> getting ready for the team to come back. But honestly, I think uh, I wouldn't be not, I would actually be happy to see Oliver as mayor for more than 50% of the time. Is that me just being boring? But I feel like it'd be really cool to see him battling in the political world. You think he'll just put Green Arrow away and not do it or? Yeah, because oh, okay. he doesn't have a team. You uh -huh. know, well, he has Felicity next to him, but I would love to see that aspect of it. There is a part of me, I was gonna kind of piggyback off yours that uh, there's a part of me that wants to see Oliver Queen as mayor come out to the city as Arrow. Uh, like, like Tony Stark saying, I am Iron Man. Um, I think that that's a natural progression of the character in the show. I don't know how where you write it in in season five and what how you do it, but I think that in season five he should come out to the whole city. Um, and I think it, it could really be a rallying cry for the whole city to believe that Arrow the whole time has been this person that's not only been fighting for the city but fighting for like the good of everybody. Uh, and I and I I loved how this season ended. So I think it's a, it's again the natural progression. Also. I'm gonna, I might steal yours. I wanna see a freaking working T-sphere. That's what I want. <laughs> yes. Um, I think uh, Olicity is gonna go stronger. I think uh, Oliver's gonna struggle a little bit. He's, I think he is gonna uh, remain Green Arrow. He's gonna go do his thing by himself. It's gonna be tough, but because they're working, it's just the two of them now. I think their relationship will grow stronger. And yes, we're gonna see T-spheres in full effect <laughs> come next season. It's gonna happen. And here we go. Oh, yes, okay. everyone um, ready? This is tough. The Oracle. They, they go in so many different directions. Like uh, I would love to see some connection back to Deathstroke, but I have a feeling that's not gonna happen. Uh, I think he's gonna go to Russia. He's gonna discover the weapons clans. And if you know anything about Green Arrow comic books, there are all these weapons clans out there. There's the Arrow clan, the Sphere clan, the Katana's part of the Sword clan. I think uh, he's gonna find somebody in the Russian mob that's part of the weapons clan. Uh, he's gonna attempt to fight him for control of this weapons clan, and that's the person that's gonna throw him back to the island because he's not worthy, and that person that throws him back to the island is the villain of season five versus Mayor Oliver Queen. That's See, my dude, this is this yeah, the yeah. stuff. And I think you <laughs> will suit up uh, <laughs> next season. And to help you on your way, because you came on this show, I wanted to give you my habits already. The Mr. Terrific uh, action yeah. figure uh, right here. Uh, this is yours. And also, it comes with T-Spheres right in the back. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, you were so, so this That's is for awesome. you for coming on Clyde oh, Arrow. Oh, thanks, Echo. man. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to do your makeup. And the fair play. Yeah. <laughs> the, this is the suit I was talking yeah, yeah. about. Fair play right there. <laughs> it, lo it looks like drive a little bit on the back. Yeah, that's cool. That's great. Yeah. So now you can hold that up next to your makeup person. You'd be like, this yeah. is how it has to look. <laughs> like this. Hello. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> not that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. That's so cool. Well, this has been awesome, you guys. Echo, thank you so much for joining us again. Yeah, thank yeah, you guys man. for having me. Thank, 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 yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Cool. You guys, it's the end of season four. It's That's been a it. wild ride hosting the show with you guys. And <laughs> I can you believe <laughs> 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 this is it. It's crazy. Whew. Last this time hooding up. So, you guys, um, I know we have a, a long break until season five, but we will continue to take your uh, tweets, <laughs> your comments, your whatever love supports <laughs> thumbs up on this video um make sure you tweet us using the hashtag collider arrow and you can also continue to tweet and comment with us individually starting with josh yeah you guys uh, can find me here every monday on collider doing collider tv talk uh as well as on my twitter and instagram at josh mccuga and my uh, talk show the josh mccuga show on youtube michael you guys can find me on Twitter at Mr. Michael Alexis, on Instagram, Mr. Michael Alexis14, and on Think Hero Pro with David and Dennis. 
And Jason? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, YouTube, all the places, at Jawin, J-A-W-I-I-N, every weekday on DCL Access and on iTunes uh, Geek History Lesson, where if you like my theories, I teach you all kinds of nerdy stuff. Geek History Lesson on iTunes. That's awesome. And Echo? You can find me on an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> you can, uh, I'm at Echo K on Twitter and Echo Kells on Instagram and Echo Kellum on Snapchat. So do that, do it's, that. It just made a progression from social network it to social network. Yeah. 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 Echo, by the way, has an epic Snapchat if you don't know. So <laughs> must follow. I gotta be I gotta get back into the groove, man. You know. I gotta know. <laughs> well now now you have an action figure for stop motion. Yeah. Oh that's true. Oh yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> we need a T filter sure. on Snap. Yeah, we do. You guys make that happen. Yeah, I'll pay for that. I'll pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, you guys, thank you so much for joining us. You can follow me at Ann Campion on Twitter, Instagram, and a campy on Snapchat. And again, continue to tweet us using the hashtag Collider Arrow. And until next season, you guys, hood up. My, my <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>